the big fat quiz of 2017. This is a quiz all about 2017, or as world history will remember it, the final chapter. <laughs> this show will test your memory, your knowledge of all things 2017, and my patience. <laughs> Let's meet the teams. We like to call them the A-team. Sorry, not the A-team, that's A-team. It's David Mitchell and Roisin Conaty. <laughs> Next up, one's the king of grime, the other's past her prime. It's the pride of Brixton <laughs> and the mild embarrassment of Canada. It's Catherine Ryan and Big Nasty. Finally, these two are like toddlers at a wedding. They're tired, excited, and they're showing off. It's bound to get annoying. <laughs> Richard Iowati and Noel Fielding. <laughs> well, before, before we get started, let's talk about how our years have been. How, how was your 2017, David? I'd say it was personally adequate and internationally <laughs> disastrous. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, g genuinely, the world looks like it's more likely to end sooner rather than later. But the thing to remember is that at some point, the sun's going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got that. That's happening, whatever. So whether humanity makes it until the sun explodes or not, it's irrelevant, really, isn't it? <laughs> so... <laughs> Jimmy, my teammate, Big Nasty, has noticed that David Mitchell sounds like David Mitchell from TV. <laughs> I swear that this is me to guess from. I'm on some real fan waiting right now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's your favourite show of David's? What do you like? The It Ting. The It Ting. <laughs> I'm sorry, the It Ting. Stephen I'm... King's It. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Batman's in it as well. You're in it as well. Well, he's definitely in it. <laughs> <laughs> He's not in it, though, is he? No, I don't. No, peep show! Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry! <laughs> oh, I love how you fuse oh, those two shows. <laughs> the it, peep. <laughs> peep it. Peep it. Peep it. Peep it. <laughs> Roisin, highlight of 2017. What was the best bit for you? I've been on all right year, personally, so... Well, you had Game Face on Channel 4, huge. You're yeah. our own sitcom. Come on. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. That's nice. Big nasty, presumably. Uh, good year for you? Yeah, give God thanks and praise. I've been turning up still. Media, gang, 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 gang. <laughs> now, I didn't get any of that, so... <laughs> well, Jimmy, I looked at a parent's website for those who are bewildered about the language their children use online to try to understand some of Big Nasty's language. BDL, that's Big Defense League. That's what that is. Base Defense League. Wow, well, you get it yeah. there. Respect. And then, uh, Brentekas? Bentekas? Ben that's just... Okay. That's mm, good yeah, skills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, every time I do the fat quiz, I get closer to you, yeah. and ultimately, I want to be your podium. That's why I've worn this. <laughs> come and stand here next to this. You yeah, come as the podium. <laughs> I've come as your podium. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so the last year, how was 2017 for you? It was Greg? crazy. There were a lot of cakes. Uh, <laughs> I was in a tent at one point. I don't... It's weird, isn't it? I did a cake show. I don't know fuck all about cakes. <laughs> Richard, how was your 2017? I couldn't pick out a moment. It was a sludge. <laughs> what about the Crystal Maze? That was a huge hit. Oh, right, yes. <laughs> um... You know you were on that, right? <laughs> Crystal Maze? No way! Crystal Maze is the white bald man. We're not talking rubbish to me, bruv. <laughs> It's, it's been redone, and oh. Richard Iwadi's hosting it. Well, it was a oh, huge terrible. hit. <laughs> it's completely <laughs> eclipsed the original, as we can tell. <laughs> the original Crystal Mears host... Rats and Fred. It was Rats and Fred, No, it wasn't Rats said no. Fred. <laughs> it was Richard O'Brien. <laughs> it's no use trying to hide, we can still see you. <laughs> OK, what about team names? Have you got, have you got a team name, David, Rushing? We would like to be referred to as the Tinsel Sisters. <laughs> <laughs> that feels, Roisin, like a decision you made. But what's the problem with it? I like Tinsel's it. Tinsel's Christmassy, sisters... We, you know, some of us are women. <laughs> OK, big nasty Catherine, what's your team name? We're gonna light them up. We're Team Pain. We're yeah! <laughs> The Tinsel Sisters have only come for a night out. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just clarify? Is the team called Team Pain? Or is the team called Pain? 
I think the team is called Team Pain. Team okay, so the team pain. name is Team Pain. Hashtag yeah. with a pain at the beginning as well. <laughs> <laughs> team Pain, hashtag with the pain at the beginning as well. <laughs> Richard Noel, what is your team name? I thought we should be called, cos he's in Crystal Maze and I'm on the cake show, we should be called Cakes in the Maze. <laughs> like snakes on the plane. Cakes in the Maze? <laughs> Cakes in the Maze it is. <laughs> Right, on with the show. Our first round is all about the year's top stories. Let's remind ourselves what happened. In March, Theresa May formally triggered Article 50, officially beginning the highly complex and technical process of fucking up Brexit. <laughs> In September, Ryanair cancelled thousands of flights after mismanaging pilots' leave. The cancellations meant thousands of people couldn't get to within an 80-mile bus journey of their final destination. <laughs> OK, let's get started. Here are some questions. OK, first round. It's all about the news, the big headlines this year. Theresa May's speech at the Tory party conference in October was a real low point in a generally disastrous year for her. Can you remember the three things that went wrong during her speech? Point for each. Yeah. Three things went wrong during Theresa May's speech. Question number two. Immediately after Donald Trump's inauguration, Sean Spicer was caught lying about the size of the crowds. What I want to know is, how did Trump supporter Kellyanne Conway explain away the bullshit? <laughs> OK, what I'm looking for is a phrase that she coined, and I'll give you a clue, it wasn't fake news. Is she winking, or is one eye just...? <laughs> <laughs> OK, this is, this is an excellent question here, people. This year, Donald Trump proved his statesmanlike qualities in a high-stakes war of words with Kim Jong-un. Trump called Kim short and fat, and Kim called Trump old. But what other unusual insult did the North Korean leader have for Trump? Oh. OK, so here's a, here's a picture of uh, Kim Jong-un. Here we go. <laughs> Time, but I think that's the wrong photo. <laughs> Might be Michael McIntyre. There he is. <laughs> Your laugh is so gassed, you know that. Your laugh is majorly gassed. <laughs> <laughs> it is majorly gassed, Jimmy. Yeah. <clears throat> Just be careful because I'm very sensitive. <laughs> oh, Mo Farrisine. <laughs> that is definitely not the Mo Farrisine. <laughs> Famously, it's that, isn't it? It's still a heart, but you just doing it slow. How is that a heart? It's an M for Mo. <laughs> How's that really? a fucking heart? He couldn't do an M. He's a human being. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy. You're saying it's like a heart. Not exactly a heart, but like a heart. And you're not giving me the M. <laughs> it's so like Christmas. <laughs> OK, this year saw Brenda from Bristol become an unexpected celebrity after her reaction to which story? Oh! Yeah, 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 officers. <laughs> <laughs> Even my heart of stone is worn by the children of Mitchell Brook Primary School. But before we <laughs> wander that unconventional school place here, take a look. Quiet. <laughs> How dare you? This can't be right. Don't worry, we are recording. Bong, bong, bong. <laughs> I mean, they were adorable. So, uh, so which new story uh, were they acting out there? OK, you ready for answers? First up, I asked you what three things went wrong for Theresa May. What, what did you all get? We know them. Let her, fit, let her fell down, yeah? And then she coughs too much when she's talking about real stuff, yeah? And then someone gave her a key to the back. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, well, what have you got, guys? We, we got the chronology correct. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about it. Extra points for getting the chronology correct. <laughs> maybe, maybe we don't care about time. I was allowed the name Tinsel Sisters, and he said as long as he's in charge of chronology. Yeah. <laughs> okay, David, what, what have you got then? What three things? Um, the prankster, bracket Simon Brodkin, was the name of the prank. Play for the oh, yeah. P45. Yeah. Um, okay. I haven't put a comma in. I can only apologise. <laughs> cough. She had a cough, a sore throat, kept sipping. 
and then the letters falling off. Uh, Correct. Uh, Thank you. Richard, did you get this? I can't read Richard's writing. It's like a doctor's handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> Sign fell off. That's the top left. Um, middle top, coughing fit. General inhumanity, that's bottom <laughs> and middle. And then declared war. <laughs> On her own haircut. <laughs> OK, well, I, I, well, let's take a look. Ten years after Northern Rock, <coughs> our economy is back on track and the <coughs> public sector working together. <coughs> so, why, <coughs> why we will never... <coughs> Excuse me. Boris asked me to give While our opponents flirt <laughs> with foreign policy of neutrality and prepare Thank for a run Boris. on the ground. Boris. Such <laughs> an image of modern Britain in all its diversity, compassion and strength that was shared around <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think the answer is that we can't get anything the fuck right in this country. <laughs> that the people in charge of the sign behind the Prime Minister while she makes her speech can't get the fucking letters <laughs> stay on the fucking wall. <laughs> That you're, you're just ruling out poltergeists. <laughs> <laughs> I've, look, I've, looked, I've looked into this. Good. They were not glued. They were, they were on with magnets. <laughs> they Is were, that real? They were magnetised letters. <laughs> now, why were they magnetised letters? <laughs> why weren't they either glued there or painted there? Glow no gum. poltergeist in the world can make paint fall off. <laughs> <laughs> As that letter jumps off, you could hear him going, I'm not listening to any more of this. <laughs> Magnetised letters. Did they think they might want to change their slogan at the last minute? <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what it was. Yes, we'll go with that for now. We might want to say making Britain a fucking dump. <laughs> 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 it's difficult to know how that could have gone worse, really. That's worse than my worst ever gig. <laughs> my worst ever gig, someone showed me their ass. <laughs> It's going really badly. If someone yeah, sorry just about went. That. <laughs> <laughs> you were there, actually. <laughs> I showed you my ass. Okay, next question. I asked you what term uh, Kellyanne Conway, a Trump supporter, came up with to explain Sean Spicer's bullshit about the presidential inauguration numbers. What did you think, David Broshin? We put much of the crowd were invisible. <laughs> They're ratchet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mid-rapture. <laughs> uh, the, perhaps the magnets that were supposed to hold them there. <laughs> but then we put alternative facts, which we think is the actual answer. OK, did you get uh, this, Big Nasty, yeah. Catherine? Yeah, we think that alternative facts have defined most of the year. It's a very famous bullshit uh, way of saying lies. And your mum put, fuck Trump. Oh, yeah, and then your man put, fuck Trump as well. <laughs> OK. Uh, Richard, no? Very difficult to say again what Richard's yeah. written. <laughs> well, this, more, sometimes it's easier to lie, which is the subtext. We, we went the subtext. <laughs> it's new to quizzing. <laughs> sometimes it's easier to lie and different truths, both of which are the subtext. So why don't we deepen the quiz? <laughs> And, and not just keep uh, it on the surface. And give some bonus points for subtext. <laughs> <laughs> OK, point, point, no point. Oh, come on. Uh, thank <laughs> you. Well, that's Trump's inauguration, and that was Obama's. <laughs> and he said, yep, Trump's was bigger. <laughs> so I asked you what unusual term Kim Jong-un used to insult President Donald Trump. <laughs> Big what? Nasty knows it. Big Nasty, what was it? Don't to suck donkey dicky bows up. <laughs> David Rushing, did you know this? We did know this. Yeah. What was the word? A dotard. <laughs> Richard, what was your answer? Oh, here? we put. He all got <laughs> I thought he genuinely one. said this that you're, he's old and brittle. He didn't, though, did he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a sat to he celebrate. Said he was <laughs> uh, well, no points, no points. You get a point. Uh, dotard, yeah. We're getting no points. No point. You know you're going to get a segment of Satsuma mm. thrown at you now, right? <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> OK. <laughs> uh, he said, Jimmy, yeah. why don't you get a seat on this programme? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's like a shark. If he sits down, he'll never get up again. <laughs> yeah, famously, sharks, if they sit down, <laughs> they'll not get up again. That's why there are no sharks in Boy Zone. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, yes, yeah, so Kim Jong-un called him a, uh, a dotard, which is a, uh, a weak-minded old person. Um, next, I asked you what Brenda from Bristol reacted to on the news. I mean, what have you done there, Big Nasty? What's that? <laughs> no, yeah. I'm being real. I'm just happy to write with an electronic pen. I've just been... <laughs> 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 I've got a lot of truth. Got... <laughs> you haven't written words with it, have you? You've just done a scribble. <laughs> Basically, we think Brenna from Bristol was upset about the snap election. Oh, I can see election, election. somewhere underneath the scribble. And then okay. Some other I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Uh, David Rushing. We put election quite neatly. <laughs> uh, Richard, no. She expressed emotion. Which is. <laughs> Expressed emotion. Well, I mean, it's true, but it's not the answer. Yes. What was the election about? Was the question. It was about she was. They said there was another election, and she went, oh, oh, oi. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at Brenda in action. General election. You're joking. Not another one. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, I can't honestly. I can't stand this. There's too much politics going on at the moment. Why does she need to do it? <laughs> That wasn't a real accent. <laughs> Euro trash when they put the voice on after. <laughs> no, no. What? No, I'm not a general election. <laughs> Bloody hell, we've had about three. Who's <laughs> going inside? <laughs> OK, uh, lastly for this round, you saw the children of Mitchellbrook Primary School acting out a new story from the year. What do you think it was? Big clock, fucking loud. <laughs> OK, uh, what, what did you get? Big Nasty, Catherine? They are stopping a lot of bell ends this year, and Big Ben is no different. That is the <laughs> bell until 2021. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, David Roisin? Silencing of Big Ben. <laughs> <laughs> because of the end of Britain. <laughs> So at the end of that round, let's take a look at the scores. OK, I can tell you so far, David and Roisin have seven, oh, Big Nasty oh. and Catherine have six, Richard and Noel are lucky to have three. <laughs> Join us after the break for more of what presidential spokesman Sean Spice has assured us is the most watched TV show in all of history. Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz. Our next round is all about the music of 2017. Let's remind ourselves, in July, Adele was forced to cancel the last two shows of her tour after damaging her vocal cords. Adele was left unable to sing in tune. Fine, I guess, but it's never stopped Madonna. <laughs> after falling down the stairs, it was revealed Simon Cowell suffered from low blood pressure. I guess when you lack an actual heart to pump it round your body, what do you expect? <laughs> right, time for some more questions. OK, music questions now. Front. First question, it's over to Channel 4 News, where the one and only Jon Snow is reporting on one of the biggest songs of the year. Take it away, Jon. Dramatic scenes in court today as the trial continues of a 28-year-old American woman accused of murder. Taking the stand, the defendant refuted her ex-boyfriend's claims that the gun was hers, noting that he laughs when he lies and suggesting that he had committed a perfect crime. Testifying for the prosecution, the woman's ex gave a harrowing account of her erratic behaviour, including keeping a list of names on which his appeared in red, underlined. Trusting nobody and claiming that she was unable to come to the phone because she was dead. He also strongly denied any responsibility for the woman's felony, despite her repeated claims that he made her do it. <laughs> OK, so I need the artist and the song for you to get the point. Oh, he's describing a song. How did you miss that? <laughs> what did like you think making, he was talking about? Is that like making a murderer? I thought, I've missed this. What's happening? <laughs> Dead. OK, yeah. I've got it anyway, I think. Yeah. How did you get that? Because, I mean, David's no help on this. It's a music round. Yeah. Unless it's about Phil Collins' No Jacket Required, he's out. <laughs> it's Phil Collins, but seriously. <laughs> oh, I never bought No Jacket Required. I didn't approve of the sentiment. <laughs> I'm not wearing a jacket, which makes me a hypocrite. For our next question, can you tell me what unlikely band received a bunch of flowers and a writing credit for their help with the previous song? <laughs> Gandalf and the Professor, you got something? That was a better name. We should have had that. <laughs> All right. OK, so next up, it's over to Corrupt FM, 
who have a question. Oh, shit! My jeans! <laughs> yes, Jimmy. Love it. We play nothing but Garage on Corrupt FM, but if we have to venture into the world of popular music, then guess what? Jay-Z is our man. And this year, he and Beyonce had twins and announced the baby's names on, on Instagram. Instagram. Nice. Nice. Can your teams remember what they called them? Can, Can you? you? <laughs> you decide. Think about it. Over to you back in the studio, Jim, mate. Keep it corrupt. Respect. <laughs> So the question was, can we remember their names? So for me, the answer no would be correct. <laughs> <laughs> it was nasty. Are you crying? Look, <laughs> I'm hungry. Okay. <laughs> so you're know. crying because you're hungry. <laughs> you don't see where I'm hungry. I... We've been out here about 20 minutes. What are you talking? <laughs> I wish I could cry when I was hungry. <laughs> because I think it would really stop restaurants serving slowly. <laughs> okay, next question. The music video for the hit song uh, Despacito became the most watched YouTube video ever with 4.4 billion views. Can you tell me what the word Despacito means in English? Again, the correct answer here <laughs> from me would be <laughs> no, I cannot. Hola, amigo. Magreira la tienda de Pablo. Yeah. You've you realised that made as much sense to David oh, that doesn't speak Spanish as everything else you've said. <laughs> and finally, for the music round, all I want to know is, how did DJ Tim Westwood embarrass himself on Snapchat in June? Oh, this is awful. <laughs> if you could laugh a little bit less like Jabba the Heart, that would be... <laughs> that would be amazing for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> OK, right, let's get to the answers. You all got something? Yeah. Roche. All good in the hood. Go on, Roche. <laughs> you, 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 go on, girl. Knuckle in. Uh. I've only got little hands. Go on. <laughs> okay. Let's go to some answers. OK, so I asked you what song Jon Snow was reporting on. Uh, big nasty, uh, Catherine. Well, we just want you to know she's dead. Uh, and that is in reference to Taylor Swift. Look what you made me do. <laughs> what did you what did you put? Tyler's whisper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what did you put, David Rosheen? The first one we've got Taylor Swift. Yeah. So we've got that. That's yeah. the name of the song. So, <laughs> <laughs> we, so we just wasn't sure of the song. So we, so, 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 sorry I killed that man. <laughs> okay, so big nasty Catherine, you get the point. Mm, the other two, you don't get the point. All right, should we should we should we take a look? Let's take a look. But I get smarter. That was some serial skanking. Yeah. I know. That was hamburger. He's coming raving. 100%. <laughs> OK, I asked you, secondly, who did Taylor Swift give a writing credit to? We know. What did you think, Roisin? Kanye West, thank you very much. Oh. No. no. What? Do you mean to tell me the answer is not Kanye West? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like such a fool. You <laughs> said Kanye West. I was not so wrong. Right. Uh, big nasty, Catherine. <laughs> this is it, yeah? It's, it's where it said Fred. Yes. Yeah? Oh, and I'm yeah. too sexy for my tops. Yeah, but you know Right Said Fred doesn't present the crystal maze, right? <laughs> he does, it's the bald egg guy. <laughs> there are more than two bald white people. <laughs> there are three. <laughs> it's Right Said Fred, the guy who did the crystal maze, and William Hague is the third one you have to look out for. <laughs> OK, and did, Richard, did you get this? We you. said Right Said Crystal Maze. There's Crystal Maze, guy. Could the guy in the left. It's me. <laughs> I'm the guy. <laughs> you're, you're in the picture. <laughs> you're in the yeah, middle. You're <laughs> no, here's the it man. Is that you in the middle, Richard? <laughs> I'm not the it man. You're the peep man. No, you're, you're a peep show. Yeah. You're, he's the it man. He's the peep man. <laughs> you're the it man. You're I'm in the, the it man as well, <laughs> with the it men. Uh, no, he was in that old school program. The ginger guy who, who was a heavy metal, he lived in the, the university. Who Which do you think I am? Rick Mayo? No, the only guy in the green jumper goes, oh, what do you mean? <laughs> what, Nigel Quayner? Right. Yeah. He's about 90. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's what you did. I'm in the air. <laughs> show. Tim, I'm a good Mo parasite. Imagine that. It's not a low parasite. <laughs> It's <laughs> not! If you look at my knuckles Famously, off, that is the most I don't want to get into this hands. again, but it isn't. <laughs> There's well, loads of things that aren't. That isn't either. <laughs> oh, look, two of them. Is that any better? <laughs> Almost an end. That's a bit like... That's a Jimmy Carr sign! Oh, fuck's sake. That's Jimmy Carr Jimmy Carr sign! <laughs> <laughs> if you see Jimmy in the street, give him the laugh. <laughs> Get him a chair, please. <laughs> right. He's got rickets. <laughs> Is that how you get rickets from standing up too long? I don't know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lack of vitamin C, which isn't going to happen to you because you've been eating fruit every two no, minutes. I can't let that stand. It's not a lack of vitamin C, it's a lack of calcium or vitamin D. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, People out there with rickets drinking orange juice, they're wasting their time. <laughs> Scurvy, <laughs> then have the orange juice. <laughs> don't, don't wait till you've got it to have an orange juice. <laughs> no, no, no. It's probably too late. It's too late, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> enough with the scurvy and Ricketts chat. Jimmy, it's this 2017. Is what need to know in the future of Brexit. But it's right. It's all going to be vitamin deficiency and death. <laughs> And the this is the last giving Christmas with job. turkey. <laughs> Next year it's rat meat. <laughs> People be, you know, breaking into the zoos, eating the zebras. No vitamin D in a zebra. It's interesting. I wonder if it's white or dark meat. <laughs> OK, I asked you, uh, well, Corrupt FM asked you uh, what Beyonce and Jay-Z named their twins. We, they uh, asked if we knew what they named their <laughs> so twins, and my answer remained no. So I put that down, <laughs> no, brackets D, for David, for the Tinsel Sisters. Yeah. yeah. And then I know the names as well. It's Rumi. Uh, Ruby. Rumi. 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 No. Like, Rumi, what, like a hatchback? No. <laughs> That's not the name of the twins. <laughs> Rumi and Sakata. What are you saying, Catherine? Catherine definitely Sir knows. Carter is right. But then I think the other baby is called Remy. But I can tell you one thing, Catherine, and this is going to eat you up inside. No. This because you pride yourself on knowing this shit. You don't. Oh. Roisin, David, you got that right. It was oh. Rumi and Rumi. Zakata, not whatever you uh, put. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Noel, I presume... I put one and two, and Richard put... I put Jedward. Jedward, he put... <laughs> OK, so a point, no point, no oh, point. OK. Yeah. So after becoming the most watched YouTube video this year, uh, I asked you what uh, despacito actually means in English. What did you put? Boom, boom times. <laughs> boom, boom times. I put car battery. Yeah. <laughs> you think despacito car battery? Or boom, boom times. It's one of the two. One of the two. OK, I can tell you, it is neither of the two. <laughs> OK, Catherine, Big Nasty? Give him the Spanish, Big Nasty. Hola, amigo, soy Big Nasty. Get the head on the tear in the pop of work. Uh, Chris Pacho means slowly. Woo why, why, why would you say that you in Spanish <laughs> if I wanted the English? <laughs> the English version of it is slowly. Yes. Mo Farrisine. Not a Mo Farrisine. If you were ever in a sitcom, I think that would be your catchphrase. Yeah. <laughs> uh, David Rushing, what did you put? We thought it might be calmly, and then, but the spelling at the speed you might despot. Christine <laughs> was trying to write then was at the speed you might deposit something. <laughs> Desposito. <laughs> Quite often, when learning a foreign language, you just sort of guess what it vaguely <laughs> sounds like. Good point, Mommy. That's a yeah. wrong answer. It, it, it means slowly. You get slowly. the point. Gracias, amigo. Gracias. Should we, uh, should we have a little listen? Oh, Desposito, let's have a listen. This That's enough. <laughs> um, I've never OK, heard. I ask you, uh, did you know how Tim Westwood embarrassed himself on Snapchat? Richard, Noel, what did you put? We just put he admitted he had it because... Snapchat. A, a man of his age... <laughs> shouldn't have Snapchat. <laughs> not be really having Snapchat. Uh, that almost deserves a point. I think a very good point well made. Uh, Can David we have Roisin? a point? Because we haven't had one for about we fucking nine years. <laughs> David Rasheen? We didn't hear the question, so we just responded to the picture and wrote Leonard Nimoy's son. <laughs> <laughs> but I also do know the answer. <laughs> Catherine, big nasty, what was the answer? What, what do you do, Catherine? 
Tim Westwood DM'd a lady. Did what? Did but it what? was direct message, but yeah, it was, right. it was okay. public. And he wrote like, I'm gonna take you on a date and pay for you to get a new clutch and a hair and some heels, like just some really weird off-piece accessories. <laughs> so gross. Yeah. So if you may want to get your nails in it, you may want to get a wax. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the and then he said, don't go buying a house or a car or something. Oh, and he shared his bank card That's with it. it as well. I appreciate you, you may want to wax. That's that was it. it was difficult to read. It's difficult to remember now. It's so good. So he sent his she... card detail <laughs> so that she can sort of smarten up <laughs> in advance of meeting. <laughs> so he sent he sent this picture, which is his that's his credit card with all the details, uh, and then he sent a message saying, "Baby, looking forward to taking you to dinner on Thursday. I appreciate you may want to get nails, hair, and a wax, even some new shoes or a clutch bag. <laughs> Use my card. It's black with private banking, so there's no limit. But oh, don't be buying a new is... car, lol." <laughs> she should have bought a car and got it waxed. <laughs> 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 OK, so at the end of that round, the scores are... Uh, Richard and Noel have four points. Uh, David and Roisin have eight. Oh, Big right. Nasty and Catherine have ten points in yeah. the lead. <laughs> We've got to take a quick break now, so you've got a choice. You can either come back and join us after, or you can play Pictionary with your family. Yeah, thought so. See you in a minute. <laughs> For the Big Fat Quiz. Our next round is all about film and TV in 2017. In July, the BBC announced they'd cast Jodie Whittaker as the first ever female Doctor Who. Some fans couldn't get on board with a female Doctor Who. Presumably thinking Daleks, sure, Cybermen, of course, Weeping Angels, all make sense, but a female Doctor is just not believable. <laughs> Despite its controversial move to Channel 4, Bake Off remains a fan favourite. It's got great hosts, brilliant contestants, and the icing on the cake is literally the sugary stuff they put on the top of the cakes. <laughs> OK, first up, let's remind ourselves of some of this year's TV highlights. On your marks, get set, bake! Boy jobs and girl jobs, you see. Why do they leave? Only interested in one thing here and one thing only, and that's bent cobbles. You look like a tentative Nazi. <laughs> Sorry, what's glow? Gorgeous ladies of wrestling. I just found my favorite show. My children are schizophrenic. It is raging. Wow. Uh, here's some TV and film questions for you. OK. You, you eating a biscuit? Biscuit? No. <laughs> You're probably going to be saying I'm eating a biscuit next. <laughs> CCTV footage of this. We haven't got any snacks. I've <laughs> <laughs> got raisins if you want. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, Richard. Do you want raisins? Oh. It's fun hey, doing shows with them. Oh, I've got that one. Mini orange and black. Oh, I've got to get both. OK. First up, I want to know <laughs> why a BBC News interview with Professor Robert Kelly became an internet sensation in March. Well, good, Mark, Mr. Nothing coming out. Oh, oh, oh. OK. <laughs> Have a look at these three famous faces. We've got Meryl Streep, The Rock and Matt Damon. What has flabbergasted all of them? Why do they look so surprised? What's going on there? Next up, it's star of Brawl in Cell Block 99, Vince Vaughn. Oh, wow. Hi, Jimmy. After a hard day's filming, I love nothing more than to kick back and watch a cookery show. But like many viewers on Twitter, I was very surprised by Mary Berry's bolognese recipe on her new show, Mary Berry Every Day. What ingredients did she add to this classic sauce? OK, so Vince Ooh. wants to know what Mary Berry added to a bolognese sauce that shocked viewers. OK, you all got something? All right. 
In October, reality show Love Island won Best TV Show at the Radio 1 Teen Awards. But what happened at the ceremony that eclipsed Love Island's win? Oh, it was so good. <laughs> what is this? Great. What is this image you're showing? That's, I, I think that's the... Uh, this that's is the... a foam party. No, that's the... I think that's the Crystal Maze crew party. Were you not at it? <laughs> I was barely at the filming. What is that, Jimmy? <laughs> That's Love Island, yeah, that's, that's the show Island. Love Island. Love Island, Island is just an elaborate study about the effectiveness of the morning after pill. <laughs> <laughs> they won a competition for the best television programme. Yes. It against is the, the other television programme. <laughs> like, you know, Blue Planet <laughs> and Faulty Towers. <laughs> And well, I mean, I mean they, they won the best I mean, reality reality show. Ah, oh, right, best I suppose... shit program. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Jimmy, you've lost control of the quiz. <laughs> Thank you, wizard podium. <laughs> okay, take a look at these two clowns who appeared on this morning in September. <laughs> All I want to know is why are those clowns upset? <laughs> Jimmy, yeah. Just for consideration. Yeah. Do you, would you ever do the show with an owl, like on your shoulder? <laughs> with an owl, like if there was an owl Don't there. Don't rule it out immediately. You haven't really considered it. I met the owl, the Harry Potter owl. Her Did name you? is Olympia, and she is an absolute legend. Really well trained. I bet we could get her. I bet we could hook it up with my owl connections from working at Hooters, and then we could get Olympia. <laughs> And you know what she eats? Frozen mice? When they eat the mice, are they still frozen? Because no. that would be... be yes. very refreshing on a hot day. <laughs> yeah. All right, you ready for answers? Yes. i got answers, OK. I asked you why a BBC News interview with South oh, Korean wonderful. expert Professor Robert Kelly went viral back in March. What did you think? Roisin, David. We said his kids come in the room. OK. <laughs> All right, what about Richard? No? He's a Terminator. <laughs> Terminator. The, the professor and expert on South Korea, you think he's a Terminator? <laughs> Do you know he's not a Terminator? <laughs> okay, Catherine, what's your answer to this? Richard Kelly's kids ran in and his wife chased them and it wrecked the interview, or did it? Or was it the most fabulous it made, North Korean interview? I think it made interview? an interview about South yeah. Korea a little more, more punchy. Let's have a look. The question is how do democracies respond to those scandals? Uh, and what will it mean for, uh, <laughs> for the wider region? I think one of your children has just walked in. I mean, shift it, shifting, <laughs> shifting sounds in the region, do you think relations with the North may change? Um, I would be surprised if they do. <laughs> the, um... Pardon me. Pardon me. <laughs> the region. My apologies. North, uh, sorry. Um, North Korea, North, uh, South Korea's policy choices on North Korea have been severely... It's so good. It's so good. I mean, do you know what I love about that? It just keeps on giving. The first kid walking yeah. in like that, it's already, that's enough to go <laughs> viral. The second kid that can't even walk and walks in, <laughs> that's remarkable, just, whoa, I'm on a weird floating device. <laughs> and then uh, the mum coming in, my favourite bit is at the end where she goes, I better crouch down and get the door. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't think anyone's noticed. <laughs> it really is the perfect video, the best thing I've ever seen. OK, so points, points, and because he doesn't mel melt into molten metal and then come back, not a Terminator, Five no points. points. Five points? Okay. No points, Ten you points. weird wizard. Ten points! OK, I showed you three shocked celebrity faces. What I want to know is, what caused their reactions? What, what did you put? We put, they gave the Oscar to the wrong film and then didn't. <laughs> Team Payne, what have you got? They were constipated at the Ox o Oscars when they found out <laughs> that they got given the wrong award at La La Land. Is that Meryl Streep? <laughs> She's in all of those photos, no, getting no, smaller no. and smaller. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what did you put, Richard? No? Oh, is it because, oh, um... We put that they because had they... found out they were in a new title sequence for Dallas. <laughs> so, points, points, no points. Next, Vince Vaughan wanted to know what Mary Berry had added to her bolognese sauce. Human yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Human shit is your joke answer. Your genuine answer is Viagra. No, no that's not true. We also did write down human shit. Yeah, Viagra, human shit. Up to you. Oh, that's um, Jay Z's kids. Viagra and human shit. <laughs> <laughs> Big 
Nasty, Catherine? This is Big Nasty's favorite show. He watches it, he knows the answer. Uh, so she put some cream and wine in her tea. Okay, what did you put, Roisin? We put down cream, so we got it right, and Dolmio. <laughs> well, cream and wine is the correct answer. Oh. So I'm going to give the points to Big Nasty and Catherine. I think she's more of a cake expert. <laughs> yeah, that might be the thing. She's she tried to make in... bolognese more like a cake. <laughs> <laughs> she, probably goes, she probably pokes it and goes to the consistency of that sponge. <laughs> is terrible. <laughs> I mean, I you love a cake, be... but you can't turn spaghetti bolognese you could, into you a could cake. You could do the sauce, then a layer of the pasta, yeah. then a layer of the sauce, then a layer of the pasta. Have you just designed a, a lasagna. Of the sauce. <laughs> you just invented lasagna. <laughs> I asked you, uh, what happened at the Radio 1 Teen Awards that eclipsed Love Island's win? What did you all think? The sun gave everyone a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, what, one of those, it was like a coupon. You cut it out and take it to a news agent. Big <laughs> 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 Nasty, Catherine, what did you get? Oh, it was incredible. So it was uh, Love Island won Best Reality TV Show, and they'd created this mechanism where the winners came from under the stage on this hydraulic machine. Like a, like a trap door, yeah. <laughs> and a, as it was bringing them up, Gemma Collins, presenting the award, didn't know. So she was stood there just like, uh, and the winner is Love Island. <laughs> and then the hole opened, and she just went like, Uh, with David, Roisin, you got this as well? Yes, we got this. <laughs> Let's have a look at this lovely moment. Love Island! Whoa. <laughs> Did she ever get out of the hole? <laughs> OK. <laughs> I asked you why two clowns were so upset on this morning. What did you put? It was when he broke down on TV, innit? About the, that horror film. It. Yeah. That's the right answer. Was it? Uh, yeah, it was not. Well, it was sort of slightly bro, selfish. Give me the thing. We could stand on with you, bro. <laughs> you love me, Jimmy. Boom. <laughs> Mo Farrison. <laughs> Can't believe he's got a catchphrase. He's been on telly two minutes. <laughs> OK, all right. So uh, what, what did you put, Roisin, David? Well, he said, because it is making clowns seem creepy, <laughs> except they were always creepy. <laughs> I mean, that's correct. Big Nasty and Catherine, you've because got that. Because it, oh. and by the way, it, I meant, I it. read it out wrong. I meant the film it. I should have put some inverted commas. <laughs> Richard, no? Um, self pity. <laughs> <laughs> and also that they lost money on poor investments. <laughs> uh, well, let's take a look. Let's take a look. What do you think of, uh, of. Because it was the original, I think it was 1986, the, the book, which is usually cited as the start of people's fear of clowns. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Slight, slightly scared now. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly in the, the mid-80s, the term um, when the, the coulrophobia or the fear of masks turned up was in the mid-80s. Yeah. So whether the two are linked together. Uh, tell me about um, tell me about this particular clown. Um, the um, he's not a clown. Penny, he's not a clown. Penny, Pennywise. He's not a clown. <laughs> They're the least funny clowns I've ever seen. They are like antique comedy. Jesus Christ! How dare you? I'm anti comedy. <laughs> <laughs> In fairness, they say that this clown is a little bit a little bit scary. Pennywise. He's all right. I'm not pretty bad. Okay, <laughs> points, so points, funny. no points. <laughs> Now it's time for a special bonus round. I'm going to show you three film posters from this year which have all been subtly improved. All you have to do is tell me what the film is. Here's the first one. Write down your answer. Point for each. Yeah. All right, second one. Let's have a look. <laughs> How dare you? All right, next one. <laughs> That's how I see myself. <laughs> OK, all right. So let's have a look, see what you put. First one, uh, Yellow Lady. <laughs> now, I remember, that was quite a big hit, wasn't it? Yellow Lady. <laughs> what was another name for it? What was it called, Catherine? That's Beauty and the Beast. Oh. OK, and Richard oh. and Noel, you've got that as well. Let's Thank have a look. You. If anything, better with me, but fine, OK. <laughs> uh, no difference. Next one, what have you got, Big Nasty? Well, I've got Carl, Carl La Land. <laughs> Carl La Land. Yeah, La La Land. Excellent bit of punning. Uh, Richard, Noel, La La Land. David, Roisin. 
La La Land <laughs> featuring Yellow Lady. <laughs> <laughs> it was the sequel to Yellow Lady, because the character of Yellow Lady really took off, so they thought we'd to find something else for it. All right, and the third one? OK, so you, you put... Uh... Incredible Hulk and the Roman. <laughs> Would have been a better title for it, OK. Yeah, uh, just... What did you put? Car Avengers. You thought the Avengers? Oh, was it? Yeah. Car Avengers. Which didn't come out this year. And... <laughs> we, we put the Avengers, but now, looking at it, it's, <laughs> it's bloody Thor Ragnarok, and I feel like... <laughs> oh. Thor Ragnarok is the right answer, but you didn't get it. <laughs> so, at the end of that round, the scores are... David and Roisin have 13, Big Nasty oh. and Catherine have 17, yeah. Richard and Noel, lucky to have six. <laughs> Focus on the true meaning of Christmas, consumerism. We'll be back right after these ads. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz. Our next round is all about the internet in 2017. Where would we be without the internet? Well, we'll find out next year when Russian cyber terrorists freeze our accounts. <laughs> in February, Disney cut ties with the world's highest paid YouTube star, PewDiePie. I love PewDiePie. He's my go-to guy whenever I want to watch someone I've never heard of talk about something I don't care about. <laughs> OK, ready for some more Big Fat Questions? These are all about the internet this year. First one, can you remember why an evening at home for the Fleming family in County Kerry, Ireland went viral back in September? <laughs> Jimmy, help us. <laughs> Look at us. We've got nothing. Jimmy, we've got six Jimmy, points. we've got so few points. <laughs> we are behind the audience right now. <laughs> They filmed the thing and it went viral. Oh. That's everything on YouTube. Let's just write that. They filmed the thing and it went viral. <laughs> OK, Jimmy next said. up, Nadia Hussein has a question for you. Nadia. Hi, Jimmy. Like everyone, I love sharing pictures of food on social media. But this year, 16-year-old Carter Wilkerson set a world record when in April he tweeted about his favourite food, becoming the most retweeted message ever. Can you remember what it was about? So, most retweeted message ever, what was it about? OK. Yeah. During the general election campaign, Conservative MP for East Yorkshire, Greg Knight, became an unexpected internet hit. He posted a campaign video that went viral. Can you remember why that campaign video was so remarkable? Who is it? Greg Knight? It's Greg Knight. We've got a picture of him there. I'm pretty sure that's him, not a waxwork yes. of him. He looks like Pete Shaw without a beard. <laughs> I'm going to have to defend my tips of this day. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to take that as a compliment. <laughs> Mo Ferris sign. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jimmy. <laughs> I forget what that is even meant to be. Go on, Jim. You know you want to. Put it up there, Jim. That's only answering. Rushing none bomb. of this. Oh. No. My, oh, but no. Quite More nice. questions. Do you think, though, because Big Ben says bong, right? When they bring it back, should they get it to say Ben? <laughs> <laughs> Ben. 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 Yeah, it just sounds oh. like you've lost an animal you no longer oh. care about. <laughs> ben. Oh. Ben. Ben. Oh. Probably dead now. Ben. It's been two weeks. Oh. Ben. Hey, Poncho, tell him he's lost control of the show. You've lost yeah. control of the quiz, Bon. <laughs> Did you just call Noel Yo. Poncho? Poncho. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I responded. I responded. I responded. I don't know names. I'm sorry, I don't know names. Let's keep it short. OK, Donald Trump's presidency got off to a rocky start this year and he continued to put in the hours on Twitter. Can you complete this tweet he sent on the 31st of May? Despite the constant negative word. press, Confetti. what? Confetti. Complete the tweet. Confetti. Couldn't be easier. OK. I still put my... Finally for this round, why did this picture of the then two-year-old Isla Walton <laughs> from Exeter take the internet by storm back in March? <laughs> oh, that is oh. Ed Sheeran. If you write that down, you might get a fucking point. But Ed Sheeran. <laughs> I've been on Buzzcock Swim. It's definitely him. <laughs> OK, everyone finished? You all got something? Let's have some answers. 
So I asked you why the Fleming family from County Kerry went viral earlier this year. What did you think? They filmed a the thing and it went viral. <laughs> They did what, sorry? They filmed the thing and it went viral, in brackets, Jimmy said. Must be right. <laughs> Big nasty, Catherine. OK, so the answer is, I've put up cork, <laughs> because my family is from cork. So up cork is an important part of my answer. OK. And because of my Irish roots, I know that it was a bad attack. OK, what did you put? David uh, Roshin? Never mind how bad it was. <laughs> what attacked them? <laughs> A bad bat. A bad bat. It was a bat, one of his relatives, the vampire's relatives. Yeah. Bong, <laughs> bong, bong. No oh. Saracine. No <laughs> 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 We're here to stay calm, man. Come on, Jimmy, sit down. <laughs> uh, all right, so what, what did you get, David? They were trying to catch a bat, and crucially, it was video. <laughs> <laughs> And maybe many, many far more hilarious bat-catching antics that are lost to posterity. Let's treat ourselves to a little look at this family trying to catch a bat. Catch him! Catch him, Derry! Derry, catch him! There's a bat! Get a bat! Get a bat! Get a bat out of the house! Mom, will you get out? Derry, will you catch him? Catch him, Derry! Bigger towel, let's see. Get him, quick! Get him! Oh, fuck it! <laughs> God, Derry! Oh! You're doing a great job, Derry. You're t oh, that's a stand up, Derry. Oh! Did you get him? No, he's there. He's making a mockery out of you, boy. You get down off the. Take off them shot. The dog's pissing! Dad, the dogs are pissing! <laughs> oh, fuck it! OK, so Nadia Hussein wanted to know what Carter Wilkerson tweeted to become the most retweeted message ever. What have you got? I thought maybe it was, feed him green, keep him keen. No. But my associate but disagrees. Above that, you've written... Nuggets, bro. Yeah. <laughs> OK. We put nuggets, brackets, of edible matter. <laughs> Good. OK, and... I can't remember what the question is, but I put a moose anus. <laughs> Which, you know, in some ways could be a nugget. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can, I can tell you, he asked fast food chain Wendy's for a year's supply of chicken nuggets in exchange for 18 million retweets. And Tight. there he is, he couldn't be happier. And that's Beyonce's no. one of the twins? <laughs> <laughs> OK. I asked you why Tory MP Greg Knight became a hit during the general election. Why did Greg Knight become such a hit during the election? Because he had a song that lasted three weeks. <laughs> OK. Uh, what, what, did you, uh, what did you put, Big Nasty? We thought about things that went viral, and, and we didn't know, so we thought maybe he got a cat involved or he did a dance. OK. Uh, Richard, no? We put, he buried an abstract Ooh. concept. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can tell you, you got it absolutely right with the, uh, with the shit song. Should we treat ourselves? I mean, it's quite extraordinary. OK. Hello, my name's Greg Knight. I'm the Conservative candidate for East Yorkshire. There's a general election on the 8th of June, and I hope, if you live in East Yorkshire, that you'll vote for me. You'll get accountability with conservative delivery. Make sure this time you get it right. Vote for Greg Knight. I like the beat, though. It's yeah, that the old school, like Miami Vice thing. So you like the beat? Song. Yeah. All right, well, yeah. hang on, we've got the lyrics. Do you want to, do you want to try and... Give it, give it vibes. Try, try and give it vibes, because I think there's a lack of vibes on that. Let's have that yeah. again. All right, let's do it. Run the rhythm. DJ, hit me now. <laughs> BDL your bitch, the best sleep. It's you life. accountability. <laughs> Servitive delivery. Make sure you get it right. Because you're totally shy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. I, I, I can see how he might listen to that and go, the you're totally shite ending to the song. Not quite what he was looking for. <laughs> he won as well. Who was running at, against him? Yeah. But looking at that video, the level of party funding in this country hasn't quite reached <laughs> American levels, has it? <laughs> 
favourite bit is someone decided that he should start outside the room. Yeah. <laughs> he start, he went, no, get me walking in. I've been, a, I've been out and about. <laughs> also, I like that they said, well, during the song, it's probably best not to focus on your face anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to a poster stuck up with sellotape yeah. on the outside. Like, you've never stuck up a poster on a wall It would have been better <laughs> if he, at the beginning, emerged from a cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been really. That would have. Yes. It would. There's mystery there. Yeah. Yeah. There's a sort of narrative. Why was he in the cupboard? <laughs> okay. I asked you to complete the tweet from Donald Trump. Despite the constant negative press, what did you put? I still put my penis up my bum. <laughs> <laughs> What did you put, Big Nasty? I blocked him on Twitter. I was trying to suck his mum, so... <laughs> well, that's probably what set him off. Oh, well. You blocked him? <laughs> yeah. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Can you just stop hounding me, Donald? <laughs> What have you written there, Catherine? We guess, despite the constant negative press, my followers are dumb and disenfranchised enough to trust me. We just we thought maybe he got with you it. You thought he got one true tweet during the year? Because they do. They just, it doesn't matter what he tweets. They will always love him. What, uh, what did you put? Well, it was, we put, it's a, it was a gibberish word, but um, we weren't sure how to spell it, so we've had a few goes. Confet confetti. Oh. Which, because it has no meaning, probably is the only thing that isn't a lie. Coffefe. It was, yeah, it was, uh, despite the constant negative press, coffefe. Jimmy, we put that bottom left. <laughs> no, we got it right. Coffefe. Coffefe. Have you got that? We did. Hang yes, on, they're claiming they got that. Where is it? Bottom Come under, off it. Under Look no at the the screen. Oh, yeah, all to right. the far left of penis. <laughs> <laughs> the title of my autobiography. So, points, points, no Ooh. points. Yeah. Um, sure. Lastly, I asked you, uh, why did Isla Walton take the internet by storm? What do you put? <laughs> you all got this? Because she's Ed Sheeran. <laughs> she looks like Ed Sheeran. Let's have a look, uh, side by side. It's yeah. so cute. <laughs> so I'm sure she's going to be a very pretty young girl, but that, she looks amazing like Ed Sheeran in that. All right, it's now time to welcome a special guest. It's Liam Charles from the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> Take the tray off. No, no, you should take just take one of these. Yeah, you yeah, should yeah, take yeah, yeah, yeah. some mild wine. I mean, we're not messing around. This is Christmas. Yeah. My daughter yeah. cried when you left, and then we couldn't watch it anymore. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> I don't eat that mince. We no. <laughs> Who thought that Liam should have won? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Shall we talk, David? Yes, please. please. Thank you very much. No, thanks, lovely. I'll Thank you very much, pie, though. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I will have a mince pie. I've changed my mind. Yeah. <laughs> well, you leave the tray over there okay, with them. Cool. That'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, oh, Thank you so much for coming on the show. Like Thank you. Now, tell us, you're still... Uh, you, obviously, you did brilliantly on Bake Off. Thank no, you. You're still at university, right? Yeah, third year. Third year at university mm -hmm. and you're on Bake Off. What did everyone else at university make of it? Um, everyone was really, like, positive about the whole thing. Um, it was a bit weird going back the first day because, like, there were so many people double-taken all the time. I was like, yeah, it is me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a pretty big deal. <laughs> no, what was your favourite uh, cake? The Liam did quite a lot of flavours that I liked. He did lots of caramel flavours, lots of butterscotch, lots of banana, so I always liked his stuff. Liam made a cool, like, pie that had mango in it and all kinds of good That's things. That's curry goat. Curry goat. Curry, curry goat. goat. You did a curry goat, my G. Bro, I made curry goat but pie. <laughs> 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 Curry goat cake. Yes. No, no, yeah. it was like a hand raised pie. Yeah, and he left the hooves in. <laughs> and the horns and all sorts. Come on, bad man thing, you know. Look at Jimmy, he doesn't know what's oh, happening. So He's gluten free. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's any gluten in a goat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you've got a question for us, Liam. What's, what's your question? I do have a question. Oh, so you're back, all right, cool. Okay. So, which craze of the year was banned from schools in 2017? Which what, cra craze? Craze. Craze. Yeah. I think I know. You think you know? OK, He's so a craze was banned from schools. Out. David, oh. did you ever wonder that... Don't call him David, call him Peep Show. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the, the what? Look, did you ever think that undoing the second button from the top would be a little bit racy? Well, like, this is... Yeah, yeah absolutely. This is... <laughs> respectability, sex appeal. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. OK, so have you all got answers? I think I know, because my daughter goes to school and her teacher, Jack, banned dabbing because... It like bothered him or something. So Band? What? Dabbing. dabbing. Dabbing, you know, when they go like this? <laughs> I thought dabbing was sort of like, you know, dab something. <laughs> no, so 
dab. Not like that. That's not dabbing. That you go on dabbing. some dabbing. That's it. <laughs> Richard, no. What have you got? Fidget spinners. Oh. Okay, uh, David Roshin, you got. We put fidget spinners. Okay, well, tell them. It's actually fidget spinners. Yay! And he's brought you fidget spinners. Yay! Yay. He's the nicest man in the world. Yeah. 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 Nicest man in the world. Have you used these before? I can't yeah. Do this one. Spin, spin. Now this is the rest of the show, isn't it? Oh, oh. Look, look. Are you good? My nephew's a pro. He does this thing, right, where he's like, Uncle, Uncle, look what I can do, and he goes ah. He puts it on his head and he He's spins it. Let go with one finger. Oh, right, OK. Hey. Oh, no, why bother? <laughs> go on, Jimmy. <laughs> oh. Ah, it really gets you in the eye, though. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's take a look and see what that's done to the scores. OK, so uh, Richard and Noel have nine points. Nine, nine, nine points. Nine uh, <laughs> David and Roisin have 19. Big Nasty and Catherine are one ahead with 20. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break now to play with our fidget spinners. But, ladies and gentlemen, one more time, Liam Charles! Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz. This next round is all about the sport of 2017. Who can forget the sporting events of this year? Is exactly what we're about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Usain Bolt retired in 2017. He's won eight Olympic gold medals and 11 World Championship golds. But he ended his career in August with a bronze. Like a loser. <laughs> OK, time for some more Big Fat Questions all about sport this year. OK, Woo! in March, Madeira <laughs> Airport was renamed in honour of Cristiano Ronaldo. But what aspect of the renaming ceremony caught everyone's attention, with some describing it as a monstrosity? Oh, renamed yeah, Aeroporto... <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo, which is a great name for an airport. <laughs> OK. MMA fighter Conor McGregor's boxing match against Floyd Mayweather took place in Vegas. Why did McGregor's choice of outfit raise eyebrows at the pre-fight press conference? Because he's not... Oh, I know. OK. We know! OK, next up, <laughs> over to Claire Balding. Hi, Jimmy. An athlete's diet is very important, but it's quite unusual to take a snack break mid-competition. But in February this year, a quick bite resulted in a footballer from Sutton United receiving a £375 fine and a two-month ban from the FA. Can your teams tell me what happened? So why was that football player fined and banned? I'm going to have to answer it now. Team? No, you could no, just write it down. Oh. Team pain, you want to know. Is How could he... you not have got the hang of this by now? <laughs> you, haven't said, you haven't said the Tinsel Sisters for a while. Tinsel Sisters? You are the Tinsel Sisters. Yeah. Thank you. It's implied you are the Tinsel Sisters, Team Payne and Cakes in a Maze. Thank Aren't you. we sharks with no knees or something? No. <laughs> You're not sharks with no knees. Jimmy! We're not Jimmy. Do you want a team name? Yeah, I'd love to have a team what name. What do you want to call yourself? No seat Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> OK, everyone, let's get on with the quiz. <laughs> Um, in November of this year, Grand Slam Queen Serena Williams got married. Congratulations to her. She wore an Alexander McQueen gown and looked fabulous, but what was unusual about her shoes? Yeah, but what's your team name? <laughs> I'm finding it hard to connect with you because we're all teams and you're just Jimmy. That's we're not the reason you're finding yeah. it hard to connect. <laughs> Maybe the puppet from Goosebumps? <laughs> well, it should sound a bit more plural rather than just an attack on yourself. <laughs> yeah, leave that to us, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> How about you can be, like, the patriarchy? <laughs> yeah. How dare you? Yeah, oh, but that's exactly. a collective. Shh, no, men talking, please. <laughs> <laughs> patriarchy. <laughs> OK. Uh, this year, Olympic winner Michael Phelps lost oh, a high-profile race. Do you remember who his unusual that's... opponent was? Oh. Who was it? Yeah. OK, are you ready for some answers? I was so born funny. ready. Thank All right, first up, I asked, what caught everyone's attention at the renaming of Madeira Airport? What did you all have? They made a statue uh, of uh, Ronaldo's head, but it wasn't Ronaldo's head, it was Greg Davies' head. <laughs> <laughs> OK, and what, what did you put, uh, Big Nasty, Catherine? Well, you said it was monstrous, and I didn't... I don't know who that is, and I guessed maybe one of his balls has... Filled with fluid. 
Not even wrong, I'm going to say no. You don't know no. that one of his balls is not filled with fluid. because <laughs> I that know is... a lot about his balls. They're perfect, I'm sure. Yeah, that'd be so... There's exactly definitely like... fluid within one of the balls. It's just a question I of volume. I have seen a ball that... <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, Richard, no, what did you get? Statue, in brackets, gold. OK, let's take a look. Well, I mean, you're absolutely right. They, they did make a statue of Cristiano Ronaldo, and it did look a bit like Greg Davis. <laughs> My favourite thing about that is, presumably, <laughs> in the day before that, the presentation, the, the sculptor was going, what do you think? And someone must have gone, yeah, no, it's good. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I'm just like him. I think the mistake with that bust is that making of him smiling. You don't usually do statues of people doing a big grin. <laughs> I think that's probably why. You know, no, when you go to Trafalgar <laughs> Square, so all those true. generals, they're not going... <laughs> Probably with a statue, go for the solemn faced yeah. look. You, I've never seen teeth in a. Yeah. Normally, you don't really see their teeth. Winston Churchill in Parliament <laughs> Square, he's not going. <laughs> I asked you what was unusual about Conor McGregor's outfit. What did you think? Uh, oh, Richard we, Noel yes. might have got one. Yes, thank you. For really? That, um, passive aggressive. Common. Um, <laughs> it, uh, yeah, it, it, we didn't stipulate yeah, the actual. Offence, but it contains a swear. Yeah. Okay, it contains a swear. We'll do. Uh, big nasty. Yeah, it had F you all down the sides and that. And also, it was super tiny. Um, David, did, uh, Roshin, do you get this? Yes. Yes. Well, let's have a look. You're absolutely right. He wore a suit well, with a swear. With, with suck you on it. Sewed into it. Which, That's um... really cool. And I've seen a lot of tailors who do that. What would you have your tailor? emblazoned in there if you could choose a saying? I would, all the way, everyone would say tax deductible. <laughs> OK, Claire Balding said, why did a uh, Sutton United footballer receive a two-month ban and a £375 fine? What did you get? Um, a man? What's he called? The man <laughs> in the thing that you were saying. <laughs> All of that stuff. The man in the thing that I was saying. Yeah, yeah. so far, so good. OK, yeah. he ate a pie and put a bet on when he was going to eat, eat... whether he would eat... <laughs> I've had yeah. so much fucking sugar. <laughs> <laughs> he had, um, he, David, finish. Yes. <laughs> the guy in the football match ate a pie, having previously put a bet on that he'd eat a pie, and then won the bet because he did eat the pie, but that was against the rules, so he got fined. Football fans are obsessed with who's eating the pie. <laughs> and then he resigned. He resigned as the goalie, the was he? He, he, was, he was the goalie. That's he needed the, to eat that a is pie the right answer. Goalie. And yeah. can I just say, <laughs> the worst delivered right answer we've ever had. <laughs> it's entirely right, though. Um, Give it what, time. what did you get? Big nasty, Catherine? Yeah. We knew it. He broke the, the rules, didn't he, by <laughs> eating the pie? OK, uh, Richard, no? Yeah. I ate a pie. Yeah. There was odds of eight to one on him eating during the match, so he ate a pie. <laughs> OK, I wanted to know uh, what was unusual about Serena Williams' uh, shoes when she got married? They were tennis rackets. <laughs> <laughs> you are so close. And it also had to draw the snail saying that, so if it's That's not the right answer, we didn't say it. Blame the snail. <laughs> Blame the snail. <laughs> um, David, Rushin? She had three of them. She was wearing three shoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's my <Coffee>. favourite <laughs> thing anyone said at all night. Three. <laughs> She's wearing three shoes. Where's the third it's... shoe? On her other leg. What? So <laughs> <laughs> 50 points. <laughs> OK, you. Big Nasty, Catherine, what did you get? She had diamond tennis shoes. That she, had, she put some of these on her, on her traps. Yeah, that is the right answer. Let's is take it? a look. Yeah. Those are her She's Knight so Cortez right. trainers, bejeweled with real crystals. And look what I'm doing with my spinner, bro. I know. Stop! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, since you gave us fidget spinners, you ain't heard a peep out of me in there. <laughs> 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 they really do work. Uh, I would say there's nothing really unusual. I mean, she's a tennis player, <laughs> and on her wedding, she wore sort of especially posh tennis shoes. That's yeah. the answer to the question, what was unusual, is there was nothing unusual. It's just, <laughs> it's just what you'd have expected. It's so unoriginal as to be not worth mentioning. <laughs> Next, I wanted to know who Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps lost uh, a race to this year. <laughs> Seated Sharp. Seated Sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Seated shark. You're so happy with seated shark. <laughs> or, or a human <laughs> arm. No, that like arm that. coming in from the right. I will give you that seated shark. Thank you. <laughs> You've written what, Catherine? You tried to race jaws. <laughs> you tried to race jaws. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you that. And what, did you get this? Uh, yeah. We we said a CGI non-member of Boyzone. Brackets. <laughs> Callback. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take a look.
take a look, and this goes to show the Discovery Channel are out of ideas. Swimmers, take your mark. in post-production, right? And then went, yeah, it turns out you lost. Yeah. <laughs> the human is never going to beat a giant fish at Tell swimming. He might as well get a high jumper to take on a pigeon. <laughs> 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 well, who can jump higher, the man or the pigeon? Oh, the man's doing quite well. Oh, the pigeon's doing quite well. Oh, the pigeon. Oh, the pigeon's still going. Oh, the, pigeon. oh, the pigeon's just completely fucked off now, and the man has landed. <laughs> about that race is people were really upset that it was a CGI shark. They, were well, like, they didn't put him in with a real one. Yeah, they, they were really <laughs> upset. They, they tweeted, it should have been a real shark. We tuned in for a real shark. So they eat it in. Well, yeah. They, they well, it, might, it might probably wouldn't have eaten him because as people are at pains to say, sharks don't eat many people compared to, say, hippos. Who don't Do eat hippos them. eat people? Yeah, they hippos don't eat, eat them. They're lot, vegetarians, they? but they kill them. Hippos kill loads Just of people. No way. They do, yeah. Yeah, they do, yeah. yeah. This is why I talk about the tabloids and the media, because the media's got <laughs> shots on it. Yeah, the fucking hippos, going... the real gangbanger. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Also, marbles. Yeah, they're yeah. fucking hippos mental for really marbles. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, though, Jimmy, they are quite hungry. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. OK, let's see how you're all doing after that. So, Richard and Noel, you've got a 13, which is not bad for you, considering <laughs> David and Roisin have 23, Very Big cool. Nasty and Catherine have 24, just Woo! in the lead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Join us after the break, because, to be honest, I'm not comfortable being left alone with these people. <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of the Year. Our next round is all about people. Considering there are 7.6 billion people on the planet, it's absolutely incredible that Donald Trump is the man Vladimir Putin picked to be president. <laughs> In July, Vince Cable became leader of the Lib Dems. Yeah, that's right, Vince Cable and the Lib Dems both still exist. <laughs> O.J. Simpson was released on parole this year. What's next for O.J.? Well, He's a charismatic American celebrity with a short temper and a history of misogyny. Maybe he'll run for president. <laughs> OK, time for some more big fat questions. In uh -huh. November, Man of the Year Stormzy found himself in a spot of bother at the MTV VMAs. He asked his Snapchat followers for help. What was his predicament? David Mitchell knows. <laughs> of course he does. OK, for our next question, it's over to uh, one of the world's finest actors, Charles Dance who's reading an extract from an autobiography released in 2017. All I want to know is, who is the mystery author? Chapter 4, February 2016. Gary was being so affectionate and complimentary to me all night. He was whispering stuff in the club like, tonight we're not having sex, we're making love. I told him I didn't know what that meant, but it sounded amazing. He then said, we'll be kissing the whole time. It'll be slow, then fast. Sounded so sexy. We snuck off back to the shag pad for our very first lovemaking session. All I kept thinking was, I hope I've shaved my fanny. But Gary was a bit worse for wear. There wasn't anything sexy about that. The whole room was spinning. He puked all over the floor. What the hell? Gary's never sick and it stunk. If this is what making love is all about, then rule me out. I'm all right with a quick shag. <laughs> because of the smell in the shag pad, we went back to my bed in the girls' bedroom to sleep. I had a Brucey bonus because we woke up a few hours after we'd passed out and started to get frisky. Making love to Gary was like the first time I tried a cheeseburger. <laughs> Sexy, sensual, and satisfying. That was Charles Dance there. OK, so whose autobiography was he reading from? So, presumably, whoever wrote that only tried a cheeseburger as an adult. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
so sad. That's so sad. Jeremy Corbyn had a very successful year, but can you remember what happened when he tried to high-five Shadow Foreign Secretary Emily Thornberry back in June? What happened when he tried to high-five? <laughs> yeah, what happened? <laughs> OK, next up, over to Ed Balls. Good evening, Jimmy. As a former Shadow Chancellor, I love hearing about young entrepreneurs. So this year, I was thrilled to read about Nathan John Baptiste, a 15-year-old schoolboy who was reported to be turning over more than £20,000 before his school put a stop to it. Can your teams remember what his business was? OK, what type of business did 15-year-old Nathan John Baptiste set up at school? Now it's time for a Say What You See. Simple, just say what you see. <laughs> the answer to the question is just in what you're seeing, if you just say those things. Actually, don't say what you see, write down what you see. And it's a write down what you see question, write down what you can see. <laughs> well done. Okay, you ready for some answers? Are we? Okay. Okay, so I asked you in November, man of the year storms, he found himself in a spot of bother at the MTV VMAs. What was the problem? Gemma Collins fell on him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good answer. Okay, what, what, what do you got? Locked in the stalls. He was locked in the cubicles. He was taking the dump and got trapped in the women's toilets. Hang on. How do you know? <laughs> he must have gone in the women's toilets. Yes, yeah, that Unless the dump propelled him into the women's toilets. Well, you know the women's toilets, they go wee in the toilet seat and stuff. David Roisin, did you get this? We did. Uh, we've said Storms, he got stuck in the loo because he was too big for his boots. Oh! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Points all round on that one. OK, Charles Dance read an extract from a celebrity autobiography out this year. Whose was it? Uh, what, what do you think, Noel? Richard? Roger Black. Roger Black. You thought it was Roger... <laughs> the hurdler. The hurdler. The Olympic hurdler, Roger Black. We've lost the fucking will to live. Roger Black. <laughs> I thought Roger Black was one of the most handsome athletes of all time, wasn't he? He can't that write a good shit. reference. <laughs> I have not Roger heard Black. Roger Black Roger referenced Black. in some time. Nice. OK, it is not Roger Black. Uh, Big Nasty, <laughs> what do you Harvey? put for this? Oh, it's, it's, it's Charlotte from Geordie Shore. They was getting mortal. Oh! She had, she had a bit of a bounce on Gaz's cock. <laughs> That's nice. very good. Uh, David Rasheen, what have you got? We thought either Charlotte Crosby or Princess Anne. <laughs> <laughs> you thought that might have been from Princess I Anne. I haven't read either of their autobiographies, <laughs> so I couldn't be sure, but they, it just seemed, it seemed her turn of voice. <laughs> OK, let's go back to Charles Dance for the answer. That was an extract from Brand New Me, the memoirs of Charlotte Crosby. Let's get mortal. <laughs> no. But very well done. OK. Oh. Thank you, Charles Dance. God love you. OK. Uh, Jeremy Corbyn uh, had a very successful year. Can you remember what happened when he tried to high-five Shadow Secretary Emily Thornberry back in June? He went into the future. <laughs> in a sense, he did. <laughs> he literally did continue into the future. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, in terms of the continuum, yeah. you cannot... He didn't freeze in time. Yeah. Yeah. He went into he the did future. Go into the future. <laughs> he didn't travel back in time. No, I mean, you're, you're right in a sense. Exactly. We're not in an actual 50 sense. Points. We're not no. 50 no. points. Stop hungry, saying hungry, 50 Jimmy. points. We're not right in a sense. We're just right. Um, what, what do you no. put, David? He slapped her boob. <laughs> <laughs> I say it and David writes it down and says it. <laughs> OK, uh, Big Nasty? Yeah, he kind of tried to caress on still. <laughs> Let's take a look at the, the incident in question. <laughs> Do you think that's his first go at high-fiving? <laughs> I would say so. What do you think they're thinking there? Yeah, there they are, the two of them. He's just slapped her boob by <laughs> They're both smiling like it didn't happen. What's going through their heads? Are they going, do you think no one noticed? <laughs> OK, Ed Balls asked you, uh, oh, what 15-year-old yeah. uh, businessman, Nathan John Baptiste, set up at school? What was his business? Was sweatshop. Of course, sweet shop? Sweatshop. Sorry, sweatshop. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you put sweet shop. I was going, yeah, cool. No, that's not business, is it? <laughs> £20,000 a year he was turning over in the sweet shop. They got it. Sweets. Sweet it really? Sorry, it's just a spelling error. We meant <laughs> sweet shop. Um, well, what, did, what did you put? Haulage. <laughs> nail bar. Either <laughs> haulage <laughs> or, or nail, nail bar. You've got a nail bar in the toilets of your school. Yes. You've got the dryers there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you get the points, Big Nasty and Catherine. He set up a sweet shop. It was turning over £20,000 a year. He had 11 employees. 
Wow. I don't know why the school shut it down. It strikes me as excellent. OK, I asked you to say what you saw. What have you got, Richard? No. Yes. Quince Philip announced retirement. <gasps> they got it! I know. Yeah. yeah. Remarkable, that. isn't it? Ro we like, we like Ro to get, you get one it? right to prove course, we're not idiots. Of course I got it. Yeah. I'm going to be really honest. We had Prince Philip retirement, and then we were not sure about announced, but we definitely. Oh, read that's it. the pagan. That was on TV with that woman. That's Anne Sutton. That's Anne Sutton. She is a pagan, yeah. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Why didn't you like Anne Whittacombe? Why? Because, yeah. She's fake, bro. She tries to go on that. She, she knows about the streets and stuff, and she cares about poor people. She's in a warped life, bro. I am no fan of Anne Widdicombe, but I would not say she's someone who pretends she either knows about the streets <laughs> or cares about poor people. Uh, I would say she has she has not projected that image. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you got you got it absolutely right, David Mitchell. Oh. What did you? Uh, the same. Prince Philip announces retirement. Okay, points, points, no points. We need, we need the full phrase. Okay, time now for a bonus round. This is the part of the show where I introduce a mystery guest. All you have to do is guess who they are and how they made the news this year. And you can only ask yes or no questions. Please welcome our mystery guest. Yeah! Hello, Sean. Very good to see you. Hello. Okay, so what questions? He made the news this year. Quite a big story. Did you tweet something? No. Did you see something? Yes. <laughs> and if it's you see the... something, say something. Did you smell something? <laughs> yes. Did you witness something? Yes. Was it in London? No. Was it in Britain? Yes. Was it in England? Yes. Was it, Was it in the north of England? No. Was I've it... got to say, this is one of my favourite conversations ever. <laughs> <laughs> like, at current point, this is like tennis. Wait, you, it... didn't, you didn't tweet it. You didn't tweet it. You didn't share it. Did you share something? Yes. Was it a criminal? Was it criminal what you saw? No. Was it in an urban area of more than 200,000 inhabitants? <laughs> yes. Was, Was it, it in Coventry? No. Was, Was it in Bristol? Did it yes. go back? Yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> He smelt and saw and witnessed a funny thing that happened in Bristol. Someone farted. Yes. What? what? Someone in Bristol farted. It's, it's more than that, but this yes, you're on the news? right lines. You're getting warmer with that. Someone yes. in Bristol farting is not a massive story. <laughs> more than farted as a clue. Shat. Yes. Is it, is it an animal? No. no. Someone shat themselves in Bristol. <laughs> Again, I'm not thinking front page. <laughs> <laughs> Shat themselves is the dream compared to what happened. Oh, I okay. remember this. Okay, oh. write down what no. you think it might yeah, yeah. be. Oh. It involves someone <laughs> shat <laughs> and it made the news. This I guy was involved. I can't remember exactly what happened. Well, you've got to have a little think. <laughs> was yeah. that a festival? It was not a no. festival. <laughs> I got it wrong then. Oh, Bring no. <laughs> wait, wait, oh, I know, I know. I know. I we'll write it down. <laughs> OK, let's have a look and see what they put. Well, first, Big Nasty thought it was festival-related and public choice. We crossed that out, and then we put Bristol Poo Energy System. <laughs> OK, that's, that's not anything. <laughs> Richard, no, what have you got? Did they poo and it went up like a lava lamp and never landed? <laughs> <laughs> that's not we what we put. No. Oh, that's that's so something daughter. to do with Porter's Head. That's the yeah. only thing. <laughs> Bristol. <laughs> OK, all right, and what have you got, Roisin and David, please? Someone got into some sort of trouble trying to retrieve their poo <laughs> from between a window <laughs> and its secondary double glazing. In a bag. That, that, that my friend, is that the right answer? Yes. Yes, that is the right answer. <laughs> okay, please explain who you are and why you made the news. My name is Liam, and my date got stuck between two windows at my house earlier this year after she tried to per throw her poo out of the window. <laughs> so, sorry, you're on a date. You're on yes. a date. You go back to your house. The, the lady excuses herself, goes to the bathroom, yes. drops a deuce. <laughs> Yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't flush. <laughs> so she, she, she wrapped it up in toilet paper and she went to try and throw it out of my window. Uh, but unfortunately, my house had a weird sort of quirk of student housing design. There was two, two panes of glass <laughs> and it got stuck in between So them. she essentially just put her poo on display? <laughs> essentially, in a nice little case. It's yeah. a nice display unit, like, as you would get in a museum, maybe, for an artefact. So she put exactly. her poo on display and then what happened? Well, I thought we'd smash the window to get it out. She was, she was a bit of an amateur gymnast, so she decided to climb in after it, and she got stuck. Oh. 
So who did you have to call? Uh, the fire brigades came okay. out and, and were any of the firemen injured laughing that hard? <laughs> I think it was the call out of the week for them, yeah. <laughs> How did she tell you um, <laughs> what had happened? Yeah. She was she yeah. was very polite about it. Actually, she came out and said, "Look, I'm I'm really sorry, but but this has happened, and we're we're going to." Have yeah, to... it's the this that I'm interested. In. <laughs> <laughs> we skipped over the most interesting bit there. So she comes back and she says, "My mummified feces are in the." <laughs> uh, David and Roisin, you get the points. Okay, let's see what that's done to the scores. I can tell you, uh, Richard and Noel have 15 points, Wait. and David and Roisin and Big Nasty and Catherine both <gasps> on 28. Oh. Oh. We're going to take a quick toilet break now. Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for our special guest, Liam. Liam, yeah, thanks for coming on, mate. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz. The next round is all about the talking points and water cooler moments that define 2017. Let's remind ourselves what everyone was talking about this year. The new £10 note featuring Jane Austen was a triumph for feminists who'd long complained there were no women featured on banknotes. Except, of course, the Queen, who's on all of them. <laughs> Extreme weather caused worldwide devastation in 2017. Much of Texas was flooded. Whole Caribbean islands were left devastated. Vietnam had their strongest typhoon in a generation. And in Britain, a wheelie bin was blown over. <laughs> Together, we'll rebuild. <laughs> OK, final set of questions. All right. Eyewitnesses were delighted in April when they saw Tom Hardy spring into action on the streets of London. What was he doing? Playing Zebedee. Was he on the springs? <laughs> in September, two-year-old Emily Henson attended the Invictus Games and sat next to Prince Harry. Oh, what did she do goodness. on camera that made headlines around the world? What? What? She did something on camera that made headlines around the world. You've got no OK, idea. for the next question, we're going over to uh, the script. <laughs> Hello, Jimmy! <laughs> This year, one tweet from everyone's favourite football opponent, Gary Lineker, it really caught our eye. Yeah, that's right. Back in October, he tweeted, the end is nigh. But what strange phenomenon prompted him to tweet this? I liked the bit earlier when there was a bat in their house. <laughs> what, did they, what did they say, Jimmy? Gary Lineker tweeted, the end is nigh. Why oh, did he tweet, the end is nigh? OK. The end is nigh. In November, Greg's The Bakers was forced to apologise after publicity shots for its Christmas advent calendar were criticised. Can you tell me what caused the offence? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, David, of course, has a, uh, an advent calendar from Greg's up in the house, I feel sure. Uh -huh. hey, you know what? When I go Greg's, yeah? First thing I do, I walk up to the woman and say, well, I go on, sister, you know what I'm saying, yeah? Don't want them dead sandwiches. I beg you, bust me if you love me. Go to the back and make me a special club. There's an extra £2 for the filling. And she does it? Of course. Oh! That is the most amazing brag ever. I go into Greg's and I get them to make me a special sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try it. It sounds oh, amazing. <laughs> I like it. Uh, OK. A US Navy pilot was grounded after residents in Washington witnessed the pilot doing something a Navy official described as wholly unacceptable and antithetical to Navy core values. So what was that US Navy pilot doing? So US Navy pilot, Top Gun style man, was doing something. What was it? I'll tell you what he was doing, he was taking my bloody breath away. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Top Gun reference, everyone. That's right. <laughs> there should be more refs to Berlin. Thank you. <laughs> OK, let's have a look at some answers, everyone. OK, I asked you what Tom Hardy did on the streets of London. What did you think? Some fine acting. You think people saw him acting? And he also stopped a crime. Mm. Maybe some bad acting was happening near him. So, stopped a crime. Uh, what did you get, Big Nasty? Well, we stopped a robber. Oh. Stop the robber, OK. That's a crime. <laughs> fine. Yeah, OK. And uh, Richard, no? He the... said something about Taboo. I have no idea what he was, he was talking about. He was in a about. show called Taboo. We just wrote that down. And then we just put he was. <laughs> um, in a show called Taboo. I can't give you a point for that. I was going to stick with he was. <laughs> OK, well, I'm, I'm going to give you points. He, he uh, Actually, Tom Hardy was spotted on the uh, streets of London uh, stopping a man who'd allegedly stolen a motorbike. So we're right. You were right. You get points yeah. for that. Well done. Point, point, no point. <laughs> Uh, next, I wanted to know what uh, two-year-old Emily Henson was caught doing at the Invictus Games. Stealing my man. <laughs> she was flirting with my bae. She stole his popcorn. It was adorable. It was viral. Did you get this? You got... Ate his royal popcorn. <laughs> OK, and then stole his popcorn. Did you? What? Yeah. Stole his popcorn. I drew, right. drew a ghost. So that's an extra point. 
<laughs> well, let's take a look. It is pretty adorable. He initially, seriously, actually took the popcorn away from her. <laughs> at the start, he genuinely did that, and then he tried to make up for it afterwards. If you look at that, he went... <laughs> he meant it. He absolutely meant it. He I mean, there's lots he is more of that footage. I mean, she's eating it for ages without him noticing. And when yeah. he does notice, he's like... He went, back up. <laughs> back, back the fuck up. So you know I am. <laughs> so the script wanted to know why Gary Lineker took to Twitter uh, to claim the end was nigh. What did you put? Yeah, he's given up on Walker's Chris to get, get rid of him, innit? <laughs> Nope. Uh... <laughs> the sky went. Um, what, 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 what is it? Weird sky. Yes. Caused by prawn cocktail dust. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Richard. No. What have you put? What do you mean? What have you got for this? What for? This Sandstorm question. sky. We What's got mine? it right. Sandstorm Mind sky. Mind your own business. <laughs> Apologies, Noel. Apologies. OK, yeah. well, I can tell you, yes, uh, Gary Lineker was worried that the world was ending because of the red sky. Let's have a look. Little sky over London. I don't think Gary Lineker was really worried that the end is now. I think he was. <laughs> no, I think there was. He was expressing levity, don't you? <laughs> he was joking about it. So I'm, I think I'm... to say stupid Gary Lineker thought the world was ending and now it hasn't is a bit rough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Greg's the bakers upset people with their advent calendar. Why? Sausage roll. Nativity scene. Yeah. Replace Jesus. <laughs> they replaced Jesus with a sausage, sausage roll. roll. Did you get this as well? Did you get this? Yes. Well, let's have a look and see. This is their nativity scene. Oh. Well, no, I know, but if you look carefully, you will see that Jesus has been replaced by a sausage roll there. <laughs> I can't see how that's... Who complained about that? I mean, if I was, you know, Jewish or Muslim, I might have a problem. But Christians, what have they got against a sausage roll? Jesus was Jewish. Yeah, yeah, but then the Christians complained about this. Yeah, but he's a Jewish baby being played by a pork sausage. <laughs> being played by? Yeah. Is a snack. <laughs> Open up the audition. Yeah. Oh, 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 the the what do you think a steak bake should have got it? <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to go meat and pastry, give it to the steak bake. Have That's some right. respect. I yeah. must say, I'm, I'm not surprised that people complained. <laughs> no. I think I think at the point where they thought, I tell you what would be really a bit of fun around <laughs> Christmas is if instead of Jesus, we had not just a sausage roll, <laughs> but a sausage roll that someone's taken a bite out of. <laughs> It would be fine if it was a mini sausage roll, but the, yeah. the scale is ludicrous. Yeah. <laughs> it's about the scale. Like more of a canopy, yeah. Well, you couldn't give... None of those little figures could have given birth to something that big. <laughs> OK, points all round on that one. And lastly for this round, I want to know why US Navy pilots got in trouble. What did they do? Dick Sky. We've written. Okay, Big Nasty, Catherine, what do you put? Big Nasty knew the answer to this one. What was it? They were watching porn. Yeah, you knew the wrong answer to this one. Yeah, it's Dick Sky. <laughs> we all can know the wrong answer. It's Dick Sky. That's the right answer, Richard. No. He I... had a shit in the cockpit and threw it out and he got caught between the glass. Dick Sky's answer. Let's take a look at what I can only describe as two pilots who have gone to Top Gun. Dick Sky. I think what you're looking at is Dick Sky. Yeah. It's a shame they didn't go back to do the little bit of sperm <laughs> coming out of the air. <laughs> I guess, I guess, you know, budget cuts. <laughs> OK, finally, it's time for the big question. The Blue week. Planet 2 was the most viewed television show of 2017, what? What? so who better to ask our final question than the cast of Blue Planet 2? Oh, my God. <laughs> Hello, can we play with them? Let's play. Hi. Can we? Can, 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 can. <laughs> Holy fucking shit! <laughs> oh my fucking god! Oh Jimmy, what is going on? Hey, Paul a bit. I mean, we met right. Penguin. No, man, no, that's gas, though. I, I walked me up. Did you genuinely think the polar bear was real? Bro, well, for a hot second, I thought it was real and I was gonna run. <laughs> for a hot second? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Polar Bear, do you have a question? Mm, yes, I have some questions. <laughs> I'd like the panel to tell me the most streamed artist in 2017, according to Spotify. 
and the most talked about person on Twitter in the UK in 2017, and the word of the year for 2017. That seems very reasonable. Yeah, OK, cool. <laughs> cool, so three questions. So, so it's the most streamed artist according to Spotify, yeah? Yes. OK, and, and most talked about person in the UK according to Twitter? That's correct. I give you clues, not Donald Trump. And the uh, word or phrase of the year according to the Collins English Dictionary? That's it. Why the Collins Dictionary, not the Oxford English Dictionary? Because I went to Cambridge. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> All right. Uh, go over and bother Noel. But don't spill the mulled wine on him, because... <laughs> oh, it is cool. He's, uh, he's pretty adorable, isn't he? Jimmy, he is, pretty, yeah. is the word of the year absolutely one word? <laughs> no, it's a phrase. It's, it's a not phrase. that adorable, okay. Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so it's a point each, a ten-point bonus if you get all of them. OK. OK, so most streamed artist of the year, who did you think? Taylor Swift. Nah. What did you think? A ginger bro, man. He smashed them. Ed Sheeran. Oh, Ed Sheeran, yeah. OK. And uh, Richard Noll, you've gone with? Yeah. Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran, Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran is the right answer, most streamed artist uh, of the year. My God. OK. All right, most talked about person in the UK. This is according to Twitter. We went Jeremy Corbyn. You went? Yeah, Corbyn. Corbyn. And you went? Taylor Swift. We don't care. Taylor Swift. <laughs> we don't care. OK. I can tell you the answer was Jeremy Corbyn, most Ooh, talked about person this year. Again. And uh, the, uh, the phrase or word of the year. Dotard. <laughs> Dotard is not the right answer. You went with? Bass. Bass. BDL. <laughs> no, that is not the word of the year. And then you've gone for? Fake news. That was the word of the year. Yes! Uh. OK, uh, let's see how you all did. Uh, I can tell you that in last place, predictably, Richard Iwadi, Noel Fielding, 19 points. I mean, well done. OK. <laughs> with 33 points, Big Nasty and Catherine Ryan. But in first place, David Mitchell and Roisin Connolly with 35 points. You're the winners of the Big Fat Quiz of the Year 2018. That was your trophy. Thanks to all of you. A big thank you to our amazing panel, all our special guests, and thank you for watching. This has been the Big Fat Quiz of 2017. Good night.